Tuesday, keep your eyes peeled. Hello everyone, my name is Lily and welcome back to another episode of the Magnificent Truffle Pigs. Morning! Different fields today. We'll try somewhere new each day. Cover as much ground as possible. It's all going to be down to luck anyway. Luck? No, it's all about planning and hard work. And will I see a bit more of you today? Oh. Don't worry, I'll be close by. And we'll be talking a lot. Oh, and keep an eye out for a bangle. Oh. Mrs. Havers from the post office collared me, asking what I was up to. Turns out she lost a bangle here years ago. Oh. Is there a reward? Don't know. She got a bit teary-eyed talking about it. Her husband bought her it. Anyway, I doubt we'll find it. Happy hunting. Speak soon. Okay, hold on. Oh, we're in a completely... Well, we're in the lot across... Right? From where we were yet last time? I don't... I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's... How do I... Okay. Let's get started then. Uh, I really wish that there was a way that we could walk a little bit faster with this, but... Uh, doesn't look like that's going to be the case. But I think what we should do is take a little wider berth. Oh. Are we getting close to something? Maybe not. Uh, but how, how have you guys been lately? I've been really excited to play this game because it's so slow compared to all the stuff that we've been doing. And I just actually, hold on. Oh, an excited yell from far above. The bird? Oh, that's not a bird. Ever fancy doing this? <laughs> I wish that we could have taken a picture of him now. Yes. Mudalot makes the wings for those things. I see them oh. every day. Isn't that even more reason to get up there? You've watched them for all these years and never done it. Or are you scared or something? No, I don't scare that easily. I'll do it one day. In fact, Jake and I were booked in to do it, but we had to cancel. I can't remember why. Hmm. You mean you chickened out? <laughs> no! Maybe Jake got cold feet? Whatever else Jake is, he's not a chicken. Wasn't it his do-anything attitude you fell for? And his good looks. Hmm. <laughs> you are so shallow, Beth. Guilty. Oh, look at him go. Drifting away. Where? He's, like, he's actually gone. Like, like where? Uh, hold on, hold on. Where does this map take us? Okay, it takes us in a smaller part. I guess let's do the smaller part. And, uh, see what we can find here. Uh, so I suppose that those triggers, m like, make sure that you look up so that you can have more dialogue. This way? Yeah! Okay. Now we got it. Oh, it was behind us. Got an E, and then we got a Q. Dig all this stuff up. Oh, is it a cowbell? It's like a really big cowbell. I can't, how, how do we, there we go. Is this a cowbell? The bells, the bells. They are, and well, it, it, it is a cowbell. Oh, it's a cowbell. I haven't seen one of those in years. God, cows have it sus, don't they? Just chilling out, no worries. Until yeah. the aliens arrive and start doing their cattle mutilation thing. You remember that? Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh yeah, that mashed up cow. I'm sure it had been hit by a truck, but everyone swore UFOs had arrived in Stanning. No. Wasn't really? that photo of the UFO taken around here? It might have even been here on this farm. <laughs> As if intelligent life forms would come halfway across the galaxy and pick Stanning. Yeah. Funny. You'd think there'd be even more UFO photos now that everyone has a camera on them at all times, but no. Very true. Uh, aliens don't exist. Obviously, but people still insist they're out there. <laughs> I guess it's harmless. Believing in something that doesn't exist? Fantasizing? Oh no. Yeah, don't make out like we haven't done it. Everyone does it. That doesn't mean it's healthy though, does it? Uh... <laughs> Escapism never harmed anyone, did it? 
a bit. Depends what they're trying to escape from. Yes. Oh man, there are so many cases where you could say like, this is not, <laughs> not a good fantasy for sure. Uh, but yeah, I've been really enjoying the the gentleness of this. We're getting a lot of stuff today, right off the bat. I hope that we end up finding that bangle too. I was reading that apparently you can keep searching for stuff even after the day ends. Um, but it doesn't help you or get you any points or anything like that. Mm. We're screwed! Mm. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Bingo! Oh, rusty screw. Another one for the collection. Maybe it's not just a screw. Think about the stories it could tell if it could talk. Could have been in that farmhouse for years, watching generation after generation growing up. Wow. <laughs> if you get this excited about a screw, you're going to lose your mind when we find some actual gold. <laughs> I guess it depends on how you measure value. That's true. Maybe, but a worthless screw isn't going to change our lives now, is it? If we find that earring, you'll get it. You'll understand why I had to come back here. Will we actually find it then? Is it like a guarantee that we will find the earring? That'd be pretty cool. I wonder if there's an ending for when you don't find the earring and she's devastated, distraught, unable to cope with reality and everything falls apart. That would be so intense. I don't think that this is that kind of game though. Uh, he oh. No, but like right on top of it. My goodness, where is it? Where is it? Well, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see what we found this time. A ball? Oh. A doorknob. <laughs> Look. A doorknob. I'm not even sure what to say anymore. When it comes to knobs, it's probably better that you don't say anything. I don't get the joke there. Uh, E. Uh, but yeah, how have you guys been? I know that uh, sometimes these types of games can be super boring, but I feel like it's nice to... Oh! It's nice to play a bit of everything. I dug out an old photo of the earring. I found another 500 euros. No, that's pounds, right? Could all be ours. That might wow. not sound much, but when you're 13, that's like winning a million. Yeah, I could see that. Shiny. I bet if we find the other, it'll be one big crusty mess. Yeah. Maybe. But this one was almost pristine when I found it. So keep your eyes peeled. All right, all right. We could find it at any moment. That would be pretty cool, but something tells me that that's not going to be the case. Um, I've actually been really enjoying doing like a bit of wild games, a bit of puzzle games, a bit of like story slow driven games and um, some more exciting stuff. I think after this I might have to find another exciting game because I think it's been a while since I've done one. You found something. Like I was thinking about Ori and the Will of the Wisps again and how fun that was. So I'm going to see if I can find something similar to that. I had a good time with that game. It was hard AF, but it was so um, satisfying to complete. Even though it wasn't 100%. Okay, this has got to be a lucky sign. I once found one of those on the roof of my car. What? What, a horseshoe? You didn't run one over or something, did you? As if, no. But I remember, oh, it was an amazing day. Outdoor Monthly phoned me. I'd won the Rising Star of the Year Award. Oh, cool. I cried when they told me. Dad came running in with some chilled champagne. Of course, he already knew. <laughs> uh, he was confident you'd win. He must have been confident that you'd win it. Yeah, he'd been teasing me, saying he had a good feeling about it. Lucy wasn't impressed, but, you know, when she won it the year after, I acted happy for her, like a good sister. Hmm. She'd been so blasé when I won, she just couldn't bring herself to celebrate. Didn't want to look like a hypocrite. 
What? Anyway, we went to the pub to celebrate. No. I went to collect my car from the office the next morning, and there it was. A horseshoe on my car roof. Huh. Crazy, right? A little you bit. You never figured out how it got there? No, I've still got it. I keep it right next to the award. They're a pair. Bit of an odd pair. <laughs> a shiny award and an old horseshoe. <laughs> it's symbolic. I wouldn't have won that award if I hadn't worked like a horse. <laughs> uh... And speaking of hard work, time to pull your finger out and find some treasure. All right, all right. Oi, I'm sure I've found way more things than you. Y you need to up your game, Beth. Mm-hmm. Cheeky sod. You've just been lucky. She is fun, but she can be so rude at times. I wonder if might have been... Oh my goodness, what is her name? Adam. I wonder if it was Adam who put the... No, because he acted surprised about it as well. So I don't think he did that. Uh, and he, they said it's been years since they've seen each other. So I feel like they were like best friends growing up. And something happened. And then... I mean, that happens to everybody, right? Like we grow up, we grow old. We lose touch with people that we were really close with. Like I've definitely had that for sure. Something here? Yes. Something good, please. Something nice and juicy. We gotta line those pockets, baby. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Are left-handed ones worth more than right? <laughs> what is that then if they have like left hand and right hand for that? Interesting. Um, okay, we will finish up in this field, then I guess we'll move on to the next one. Do we want to take- I- yeah, we do want to take a lunch break again because that gives us a lot of story. And, um, I think story is very important. Like, story is the most important thing about this. Like, sure, finding the stuff is as well. But we're gonna- Oh. Where is she that she audibly screamed? I guess you heard that. Yeah? What's, What's up? up? You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? That scream? Oh, it was a primal scream. Lucy just called from the office. Uh oh. Oh, she's shit stirring. Trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. Trying to win dad over while I'm not around. You sounded pretty angry. I am. I'm livid. She's accusing me of messing up an order. I do them every day. I could do them with my eyes shut. She does that. When I'm not there, plays up to Dan, tries to make me look bad. I sense some sibling rivalry. No! Well, not from me. It's her. Mum wouldn't fall for it as easily as Dad does. Look, you're not supposed to be working this week. Switch your phone off for a while. Yeah. Oh, I can't. You know I can't. I told her to double check. That should be the end of it, but I can't switch off. You can. You just won't. Hmm. I think that uh, he is definitely right. Some people just can't let it... Hold on. I want to look at the map. Some people just can't let it go. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and exit this field. We keep this running. Oh. Hey. Do you want to take a break now? Or see if your detector will last out a bit longer? Let's take a break. Because then we get story. Oh, yeah, I am ready for a break. Gotcha. Meet me back at the car. We're gonna have crumpets and what else do the British eat? English muffins. Oh, wait. No, it'll take us back. Yeah, it'll take us back. Want to talk about it? What? The thing with Lucy? Nah, it'll blow over. I'm more interested in you. After all these years, I wasn't sure I'd be able to persuade you to come back. I could hardly refuse, could I, given the situation? I didn't think we were in one of those situations. Really? So, why did you reach out? Maybe I panicked. Maybe I wanted a safety net. I don't know. I just... Maybe I didn't need you. Surplus to requirements already. <laughs> We've been there before. 
Perhaps I should just go now. No, not yet. Just let's hang out. I feel safer with you around. No one else does, though. They're petrified whenever you mention my name. I wonder why. They just... They don't know you. What you did for me back then. You helped me to be happy again. You were a kid back then. You're not anymore. No, I know. It'd be easier if I was. Maybe it's fate that brought us back together. Fate? You don't believe in fate. You literally plan everything. <laughs> Trust me, I didn't plan this. You know, I used to daydream about you. I always imagined you becoming an astronaut or something like that. Years of demanding physical training, then strap yourself to a giant tank of fuel and ignite it. And if nothing goes wrong, you get to ship without gravity, which might sound like fun, but it's probably hellish. <laughs> you knew how to make me laugh. I've never found anyone that makes me giggle the way you do. Jake doesn't. He did, at first. It feels like a long time since we just laughed. You know, properly laughed. The kind where you just can't stop. What changed? I don't know. Was it him? Was it me? I used to be fun. I used to be funny. You are funny, Beth. N not just weird funny, funny funny. You and Jake, maybe you're on different wavelengths now. Maybe I've just stopped being fun. Always working, neglecting everything, everyone else. Do you think? You're scrambling for an answer again. Sometimes you just have to accept that there isn't one. What's up there? I just need everything to hurry up and happen. Becoming the boss at Muddlelot. Getting married. Then I won't be so rushed. I'll have time for friends and hobbies. I'll be happy again then. Have you ever thought it might not just be an earring you need to look for? The earring! I shouldn't waste this week daydreaming. Come on, let's find that damn earring. Wow, it sounds like Beth has a lot of stuff to work through. Damn, I'm sorry, girl. You got a lot of stuff to work through. And honestly, like becoming the manager, getting married, like that is not gonna solve the problems. It's not, that's so sad. That's really so sad. And the thing, we keep seeing this sort of theme up, like reoccurring again and again in movies and TV and in video games because it's so common, which makes it even worse, right? Uh, here. Because, I mean, fantasy is based on reality to some degree. And it's so sad that, like, ugh, people are killing themselves and believing that the next step is to continue to kill themselves. I guess I, I can't spot any silver hallmarks, but I guess at least it's something practical. More junk for the jar. That's so sad. What if we made it shiny? I've still again? got it, my junk jar. Full of all the crap I used to find. Oh. Rusty nails, screws, bottle tops. All in that great big fiddling jar. It's still in Dad's garage. Hmm. Oh. Remember how I'd carefully clean each piece like it was gold, then do a little drawing. Didn't know what half of it was. But I knew it was worthless junk. But I became obsessed with collecting it. That summer, I'd be out with my detector whenever I could. I really wanted to fill it. But you never did. Well, a more important mission came along. Oh. One day, Lucy found a ring. It was rubbish, costume jewelry. But I was gutted. She didn't even like detecting. Me and Dad, we detected all summer. Lucy tagged along, once. It was the sheer luck of it that hurt most. Hmm. And after that, you forgot about your junk jar. You just wanted to beat Lucy, find something better than her ring. And I did, literally the next weekend. I found that earring. All the detecting, all that hard work finally paid off. 
But did it really make you happy? The next weekend. Wow. And their faces. <laughs> they were speechless. They've been nagging me every two minutes. Found anything yet? And you did. Right on cue. What were the odds on that happening? Exactly. We were all shocked. They'd been teasing me about finding something. It felt kind of magical. Like an uncle pulling a coin from your ear. Um, I suppose. Anyway, none of us realised what it was at first. My teacher spotted it was actually gold. Then I was in the news, kind of famous. Sold the earring, bought Trouble Pig Mark too. And while you were lapping up all of that attention, we stopped hanging out. I didn't know that would happen. But we're back now. Here. Here together. This farm, it's special. If I ever find anything important again, it'll be here, in these fields. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She found the earring a week after her sister found the ring. She was about 13 at the time, and 13 is when she lost track of Adam. That's a long ass time to not be friends with somebody or at least acknowledge them for over, and we're gonna say like over 10 years, at the very least, maybe 15, even possibly 20 at the most. That's a long time to just be like, hey dude, you wanna come and dig up some garbage with me? I mean, it's not garbage, but you know. And she found the ring a week after, that seems so suspicious. And didn't she say it was in pristine condition? What if it was planted? Hmm. Lot of questions, lot of questions. Oh, this looks cool. This is like an old, yeah, it's an old pin. Oh, how to, how to do things. And the award for weirdest merch goes to? It's not weird, it's kind of cute. Those seven, the 70s were washed with crappy badges, oh. She saw the picture somewhere, I guess? Beth, you're talking too fast for me, girl. I can't keep up. It's too fast. Uh, I wonder if we'll find the bangle. I found a picture of the standing UFO. That looks like a pot in the air. <laughs> Let me know if you spot any aliens that want to get probed. Oh, are we going to find that bangle today? How much more do we have to cover? Oh, okay, we're in the only... Okay, if we're lucky, we'll be able to find it, I guess. Speaking of finding things... Let's dig it up. This is actually making me want to go out and do this. This is fun. Oh, a bottle cap. Oh, <laughs> a bottle top. For a split second, I thought it was a coin. That's such a terrible picture. Oh, 1970s by the look of it. Thought so. Beer? Oh, probably. Now, shall we grab a beer when we wrap up here? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Uh, how will it look if Jake calls and I'm out drinking? Girl, live your life. Screw Jake. Forget about Jake. He's not here. Oh my gosh, he won't. girl. And I'm not sure you really want him to. A few nights away, he might change. It could have just been, you know, wedding jitters. No, girl. You haven't told anyone, have you? About you and Jake? No, why should I? He never said it was over. Oh. Not really. He never actually said it. Have you stopped to think you might be better off without him? Yeah. Besides, pretending nothing's happened won't help. Carrying on with your wedding plans won't help either. I'm not cancelling! Not yet! Girl... Things might still change. We were good together. It wasn't always like it's been these last few months. Look, let's have a quiet drink. Nothing crazy, no one else. Let's try and figure out what's really going on. Okay, a drink. But at my place. You know how this village gossips. It might look weird if I'm out drinking without Jake. Weird? We spend all day in a field waving these sticks at the ground. I think we're already well past weird. Are we 
should get back to waving them around too. There's still an earring to find. That's always your answer. Making yourself so busy that you don't have time to think about anything else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or at least it was, until you turned up. <sighs> Back to detecting. No arguments. So it's all but confirmed that Jake has actually left her. They had an argument and he left. And she still hasn't cancelled anything. The wedding is still on. Girl, he ain't coming back. And if he does, you better rethink your choices. Because, I mean, if he's like close enough to throwing off the wedding, she's going to get stood up at the altar. That's going to be so sad. Here? Yeah? Maybe. Yeah. The poor flower. Oh, it's um a cufflink. Yeah, a single cufflink. No anyone any one armed but impeccably dressed men. <laughs> that's me. Oh, that sucks. Like she is in total denial. Ugh, I I get it. I understand why she's still holding on, but Oh, it's like ripping off a band-aid. Like the faster you do it, the faster you can move on with your life. I hope that Adam can convince her. Oh. Change of plan. No drinks tonight. Just had a call. I really need to get to the office. We've got a big problem. Uh, Can't they cope without you? You've got other things to worry about. Trust me, it's the last place I want to be. Lucy was right. I fucked up, like, really badly. Hmm. I ordered 15,000 water bottles. It should have been 1,500. Oh. Lucy and Dad have told me to stay away. It feels like they're trying to push me out. Maybe they hmm. just want you to enjoy your time off. Leave them to it. They can return them, can't they? They're branded with model art. 15,000. That's more than we've sold in the past seven years. Oh, I look like such an idiot. Listen, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone else does, not me. I'm the one that spots them and saves the day. Oh, Lucy's going to love this. Seeing me screw up just as Dad's about to retire. Look, you, you had an off day. It's not just an off day. I'm letting things slip. Little mistakes. Nothing's ever perfect anymore. And it feels like I've been waiting for someone to rumble me. You've got a mm. lot resting on your shoulders. They know that. They don't. It's been relentless. Never a spare moment. They don't even see it. I'm always... It's... Oh, I don't know. Want me to come to the office? Offer some support? No. Definitely not. If they find out you're here... That's it. I'm screwed. We've got to leave. Now. Come on. All right. All right. Wow, that she's handling so much. Oh man, she's not having a good time, that's for sure. The police have taken an interest. Oh boy, but that's gonna have to wait until next episode because I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. Uh, if you liked this episode, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and throw those down below. And if you feel like continue watching this series, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get a notification when the next one comes out. But until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.